back to Oshkosh today. Thanks again for joining us for the Christmas special. Now we've traveled out to Menominee Park right here in Oshkosh to talk about a huge Christmas event that everybody looks forward to every year, and that is the Celebration of Lights. So I've got Leon Thompson here who's going to tell us uh, a little bit about the event and what we can expect this year. So Leon, thanks for meeting us out here today. Oh, you're welcome. It's always a pleasure being on Oshkosh today. Yes, yes and no yes. snow on the ground yet, no, which, we're, yet. which we're happy about, but maybe by the time the Celebration of Lights opens, there'll be a little bit on the ground for us to yeah, It would be see. nice if the ground would freeze too, so the, the things we have sitting up yes. don't blow over in the wind. Yes. <laughs> so when does the Celebration of Lights open this year? In the first day is Tuesday, November 24th. Okay. And what time, what are the hours that Five you guys until are open? nine. Okay. And it's open uh, every day from uh, November 24th to December 31st. Okay. Every night actually from five to nine. Yes. And it takes place right here in the beautiful Menominee Park mm -hmm. in Oshkosh. You guys are already setting up. It is a big process. There's a lot of setup involved. Um, how's it been going so far with the planning? Oh, such beautiful weather. We've really been doing a good job. We're going to have a lot more trees decorated this year than we haven't had in the past. So mm -hmm. the displays are about 98% up right now as beautiful. we speak. Yes. 100% by Friday. Including this beautiful tree that we're in yes, front of. The, that's the, the, new the one classic this year. decorated Christmas tree. We uh, love it. Um, cost of attendance if we're looking to plan. It's $8, but you get a dollar off if you bring an in date canned food. Yes, that's important to remember too. Uh, a lot of time people will not realize the they're the in the back of the pantry there. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes, um, and so it's a great deal, a great way for families to come out, enjoy the holidays, kick off the holidays. Um, and let's talk about some of the, the special nights that we have planned. Okay, we do have the community nights, mm -hmm. which are four Tuesdays in a row, November 24th, December 1st, 8th and 15th. And first one is Kunzel Foundation is sponsoring. Second one is Provident Financial. The third one is uh, Fox Communities Credit Union. And the last one is uh, Oshkosh Corporation. Wonderful. So we have those free nights. And then we have uh, Patriot Night where the veterans get in free. Uh, anybody in the car, they don't have to pay if they're okay. with a veteran. Great. And then we have Senior Night where this year we're giving away a real nice stainless steel mug on the outside, not the inside. <laughs> but to everyone, so the first 200 people that come through that night that are seniors. They'll Wonderful. Get a mug. They can so. fill it up with some hot chocolate or coffee to enjoy right. while they go Absolutely. through. Absolutely. We're going to try something fun too. We're going to have them take pictures of them with their mug in different places and then upload them to our Facebook account. How cool. And so we can see if we can write a story about here's where our mug has gone. Very fun. Uh, night of the Torches, what's, what's involved with that one? That's from 7 till 9 on December 26th. We have torches that, Roman candles that line the whole route so oh. people can drive through and, and uh, enjoy that. It's always a pretty, pretty nice evening. How cool. And then one other event that does take place here is the Race for the Light, which is a, another really unique way to enjoy the celebration of light. That's sponsored by Christine Ann. So it's, it's kind of a different experience than driving through mm -hmm. with your car, which is very neat. Yeah. Um, you know, how long has the Celebration of Lights been been here in Oshkosh? It's become such a, a great event that everybody looks forward to every year. This was the 14th year. 14 Started years. Started in 2001, yes. Wow. Tom and it's Stefani, really become yeah. been, it's really become a, a tradition for a lot of families, you could say. So yeah, it's, that's, that's good. We like that. We, we, we like do. That, yes. We do. Any highlights or anything that we can look for uh, this year? Anything, any displays that are exciting to well, see? Anybody that has liked the splash in the past, that's all new LED lights Ooh. this year. So it should be, the water will actually be blue, not white like it was last year because the things had faded. We have the tree we're standing behind there. There's also a tree right behind that that's called a snowfall tree. We have Ooh. a new tunnel. Uh, we're going to hopefully get our 70 foot dragon out here again this year. I'm saying hopefully because it needs to be welded a little bit, but okay. so there's there's quite a few things that are different this year. Yes, as well as the old favorites. What are some of the, the staples of the Celebration of Lights? Well, the splash is one of the biggies, uh -huh. and then the the uh, gingerbread line uh -huh. over there uh, is a favorite, and the live reindeer will be back again oh, this year. My favorite part. Yeah. And Santa is in the house this year, 23 nights, which is the most ever. Wow. So, and we also added horse and carriage rides on yes. two Thursdays and two Sundays. Holy Experiment cow. with that a little bit this year and see what happens there. 
So it seems like you're always evolving things here at the Celebration of Lights. It's great that you got Santa here even more because I think a lot of kids will make will be very happy that they have that extra chance to get his oh. get their list to him. <laughs> right, and they, they can come in here and see Santa and they take their own pictures. There's no mm -hmm. hassle, there's no charge for taking the pictures and mm -hmm. all the Santas are glad to help out. And even though our hours are 5.30 to 8.30, we stay there till the last child oh, has come great. through. So. so you never have to worry about missing out no, when you're here. No. Wonderful. Um, what if we come with an appetite? Is there any uh, food or refreshments that we can? There will for? be the same food vendor vendor outside of Santa's workshop that we've had the last four or five years. Okay. I don't know the name of the gentleman because I just don't. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the typical food and things like that that we can look forward to. Hot chocolate, apple mm -hmm. cider. I. They have uh, naughty things like donut holes and stuff like Ooh. that too, which are delicious. But well. Yeah, tough for you to work here. Oh then, huh? yes. Tough. <laughs> Um, and, you know, the Celebration of Lights is such a huge event here in Oshkosh that goes on for quite a while. How does something like this happen? Uh, who makes this happen? Uh, it's lots and lots of volunteers mm -hmm. that make it happen. It's a lot, a lot of work setting these things up. It takes us three and a half weeks to get mm -hmm. things up. And then, then of course, we have the takedown at the end, which takes another three and a half weeks. Yes. But wow. it's, it's a lot of volunteers, a lot of kind souls. That help us out. And you're always looking for more volunteers. Oh, absolutely. So if someone's interested in getting involved, what do they need to do? Well, they can go on our website and okay. sign up there, mm -hmm. or they can uh, email me. Okay, lots of opportunities ahead oh, for volunteers, and yeah. uh, definitely got to get out here and enjoy those beautiful lights. So uh, once more, uh, if people are looking for more information on Celebration of Lights, you've got a great website that is uh, Celebration of Lights. Org. Oshkosh Celebration Oshkosh of Lights. Celebration of Lights. Yes. Org. It's uh, all redone. It's a brand new one. Even works on those smartphones now. Yes, yes. It, mm -hmm. it looks great. Lots of great photos too. It's very easy to use. Um, and then you did say you're going to be having a little bit of a social media presence as well. So we can check it out on Facebook. Yes, it'll be on Facebook. Wonderful. Once more, when is the Celebration of Lights opening? Uh, Tuesday, November 24th at 5 o'clock. Wonderful. And then they are open all through New Year's. Every correct? night till December 31st. Perfect. Well, Leon, thanks so much for meeting us out here today, telling us a little bit about the Celebration of Lights, giving us a little preview. I know we're definitely going to have to make our way out here this year. Well, I certainly <laughs> hope so. You and thousands more. Yes. We'll see you then, Leon. All right. Thank you. Oshkosh Today, your connection to events and organizations in the Oshkosh area. Oshkosh Today is supported in part by the Friends of OCM. Aurora Healthcare, 855 Northwest Haven Drive. And House of Flowers, 1920 Algoma Boulevard.